Hi everyone, it's Rachel and today I'll be showing you how I made these needle felted crayons and pencils which are really cool because they can also be used as keyboard cleaners. I received my kit from jparade.net which is an online crafting store based in Sydney and they sell a range of kawaii stationery and crafty DIY kits. I'll leave all their links and information down in the description box for you to check out. So for this tutorial you'll be needing the felting kit as well as a felting needle and this is a special type of needle that has little hooks on it that grab the wool so a regular smooth needle won't work for this and then also some felting foam to work on but alternatively you could use a sponge start off by taking the wool out of the kit and separating the colours the kit also has a list of instructions with pictures to follow but if you can't read the Japanese diagrams like me you can use the Google Translate app to take a photo of the text Highlight what you want to be translated and then it will do it for you. So I'm starting off by making the pink pencil and cutting the felt so it's 10 centimeters in length like the instructions say. Then roll it up into a tight coil and start poking it with your felting needle to make the wool nice and compact. If you have more than one felting needle you can use multiple ones at a time to make the process quicker. I then did the exact same thing to make the base of the yellow pencil. For the base of the two crayons, take the tan colour this time, trim it, roll it up into a tight cylinder and then poke it with your felting needles. Moving on to the tip of the pencils, follow the instructions which say to roll a small piece of the wool, kind of as if you were making an ice cream cone, and this will make the shape you want. You want to make this part nice and compact except for the wider end which you need to leave fluffy so we can connect it to the base later on. When making the two pencils, also add on a small piece of coloured wool to the very tip. Once I was happy, I then trimmed off all the excess fluffy wool so there wasn't as much and then began connecting it to the base. And then just repeat these steps for both of the coloured pencils. For the tip of the crowns, also roll your wool into a cone shape, except this time we can just leave it one plain colour. The crayons also then have some markings on them, so to make these I took a thin piece of the colour I needed and twisted it so it was nice and tight. You can then position them in the right spots and then attach them on. And using a pair of scissors I also trimmed off any excess wool that I had. For the faces, I started off with the eyes by twisting a black piece of wool, poking it on and then trimming the excess. The two crowns also have cheeks, so I added a small piece of the pink wool beside each of the eyes. And then finally for the mouth, twist a very thin piece of red felt and attach it in a curved shape for the smile. The instructions also included a little nose on the pencils, but I decided not to add them on mine. So that is everything for this tutorial, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the information in the description box where you can buy one of these kits and loads of other kawaii items from J Parade. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!